Hi, my name is Kara Socorso, and I'm an attending psychologist in the Boston Children's Hospital Down Syndrome Program. Our team compared the quality of life in families who have children with Down syndrome, autism spectrum disorder, and a dual diagnosis of both Down syndrome and autism, or DSASD. We completed this study because we know that individuals with developmental disabilities, such as Down syndrome and autism, may have challenges with behavior regulation, communication, and social relatedness, which can impact family quality of life and functioning. While there is a lot of research that focuses on the parental well-being in these three populations, there's not much research that compares overall quality of life in these groups. Research suggests that there may be differences in parental stress levels, closeness in the parent and child relationship, and physical and mental health of the caregiver for those who have children with developmental disabilities, all of which you can imagine might impact quality of life. This is a retrospective study that assesses the validity and utility of a caregiver quality of life measure, characterizes quality of life in families with children with Down syndrome, autism, and a dual diagnosis of DSASD, and compares and explores differences in quality of life based on diagnosis. We used two parent report measures as part of our routine clinical care. One measure used was the PEDS-QL Family Impact Module, or FIM, which is a 36 parent report measure of family quality of life. It provides three composite scores, including an overall score, a global parent functioning score, and a family functioning score. It also provides eight subscale scores assessing various domains. The PEDS-QL FIM module is used extensively in studies of children with teens and chronic medical and neurodevelopmental conditions to estimate the impact of these conditions on parent and family quality of life. We also looked at parent impression of child's global functioning, or PGI, which is a modified version of a clinical global impression severity score, or CGIS, and is a parent-reported single-item measure as a proxy for overall impression of child functioning rated on a scale of 1 to 7. Construct validity and internal consistency reliability were determined for the PEDS-QL FIM as a measure of caregiver and family functioning in these populations. Over time, the surveys were completed by 610 caregivers of children with autism, 177 with Down syndrome, and 35 with DSASD. From the 610 caregivers with children with ASD, an ASD cohort of 177 were chosen to be matched by sex to the DS cohort to remove possible sex bias. We then compared the three groups. DS, ASD, and the dual diagnosis AS, DS, ASD. Caregivers in, these, in the DS group reported higher overall levels of quality of life, meaning better quality of life, compared to those in the autism group, and mean levels of quality of life were higher for the DS and ASD group compared to the dual diagnosis group, although these levels were not statistically significant. Caregivers of, pa of patients with autism reported higher levels of concern in many domains, including emotional functioning, communication, and worry compared to those in the Down syndrome group. Caregivers in the DSASD group indicated the lowest impression of child functioning, as well as the most worry about future functioning, physical health, social functioning, communication challenges, and daily activities. Caregivers of children with Down syndrome seemed the most well-adjusted and had the highest ratings of quality of life across all domains, perhaps related to receiving a diagnosis at an earlier age, feeling supported and encouraged for future planning, or having a greater sense of community for support. Consistent with previous research, quality of life was lower in families with individuals with an autism diagnosis compared to those with a diagnosis of intellectual disability and no autism. Specifically, caregivers with, pa with patients with ASD reported higher levels of concern in many domains, including emotional worry and communication and worry compared to those in the DS group, which is consistent with previous findings. Caregivers in the DSASD group notably reported the poorest quality of life, similar to the ASD group, but significantly more than the caregivers in the Down syndrome group, including the most worry about future functioning, physical health, social functioning, communication challenges, and daily activities. They also indicated the lowest impression of child functioning. The findings of the study are really important because it helps us think about the challenges that families with a child who has a dual diagnosis face in their day-to-day -day lives. Quality of life is an important construct that clinicians should assess in individuals with neurodevelopmental disabilities. The PEDS-QL FIM measure was robustly useful for caregivers with children with Down syndrome, autism, and DSASD. Our study highlighted differences in family functioning and quality of life amongst these groups. Measures of quality of life are helpful for identifying families who require additional support, advocacy, and community engagement. Future research could include guidelines for the use of this tool to better serve families in need, turning the information received from quality of life and child functioning measures into more meaningful advocacy, clinical care, and family support. Connecting families to resources, including mental health services and behavioral support, caregiver support groups, healthcare support, respite care, and community engagement is imperative. Assessing the impact of resources and support on quality of life will be an important step for future research.